Hey, this is Big Chris Flores. Welcome to the Rehab Studio here in LA. I've been here for about 25 years doing production, mixing, and mastering. Everybody from Slash to Fergie, Boys to Man, uh, Lynch Mob, uh, tons of local artists, people from all around the world. I'm old enough to know the musicality where you can get a live musician vibe, but I'm young enough to know the tricks along with younger generation. I think what makes me stand out in this saturated market is my musical background. I've been living in Cancun for six years playing salsas, cumbias, merengues, reggaes, and cha-chas, and singing in a rock band, and then coming out here to LA, uh, working with Babyface for a few years, you know, with Usher and Boys to Men, and you know, all that R&B pop style rubbed off on me. And then my rock background, you know, working with Slash and Lynch Mob, and Chester Bennington, you know, so it's just, I've got a huge array of styles in me that all come out when I throw paint at the canvas. At this point in my career, my motor skills and what I do musically usually comes out a bit quicker than my thoughts. You know, sometimes a, a sound will trigger an idea and a song gets built around that sound. And sometimes it's a melody where someone just comes in here and it's like, oh, I got a great idea. And I was like, oh, great, now me too. And then we just start jamming out together. So ever since I was 13 or 14, I've always wanted to be a musician. I've always wanted to be a guitar player, or something in music. You know, I watched my dad play, and it was never a second guess. It's just in my blood. There was no choice. Back before the internet, I went and gave some resumes out, and it turns out that I gave one to uh, Babyface's management at their pri at his private studio. So I ended up getting hired there as an engineer. So that was kind of like my big break into the engineering mixing world. And Cedric uh, came over to my house one day to make a long story short. He said, "Can you do reggae?" I said, "Sure." He's like, "Okay, cool. I need a reggae by tomorrow." And next thing you know. He, they call me from Paramount Pictures saying, yeah, we're going to use this song. So they licensed this song from me. They put it in the movie. And Cedric was like, wow, you did that with eight tracks. Let's see what you can do with the whole Pro Tools setup, a whole studio. So he took me to Guitar Center and spent $12,000 on me one day and said, just pay me back when you can. Money is second to the feeling of writing a great song. I usually see a lot of excitement from people and 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 dreams and and plans that they're gonna do with their final mix because they just love it so much you know they're like oh now I gotta do this video and they're so excited if any of you have any questions need some advice want to do some production mixing or mastering go ahead and hit me up